Hey guys, what's up? My name is Robbie Mendez and you're watching a brand new producer tip of the week. Let's go. All right, so today's topic is about how I use a sidechain and this whole video is basically based around one specific plugin and it's called Shaperbox. Um, I recently discovered about this plugin and it's just such an awesome uh, tool to make your sidechain even more perfect. So let's dive straight into uh, what this plugin looks like. Um, you, you can draw a, a line, for example, so you can draw your sidechain. I think that's not super unique. We've seen that before with GrowSpeed, um, I think LFO tools, and maybe a couple other plugins. But there's one extra feature I really like, and for me, that's definitely the selling point, is that you can sidechain on different frequency bands, and that is just insane. So uh, a regular sidechain would sound like this. Um, by the way, this project I've got in front of me, I created on a live stream on YouTube. So if you're interested in me seeing, you know, if you, if you like seeing me making music, well, that was a bit weird, <laughs> then just uh, subscribe to uh, the channel and yeah, don't forget the notification bell to, yeah, be up to date. Now it's just regular sidechain. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, sounds okay, uh, sounds normal, <laughs> but I think you can even make it a bit better and um, in, in the upper left corner you can see uh, bands and if you press the left mouse button and drag this to the left, a new frequency band will appear. And in this case, I already uh, pre-made this um, preset, so that's why it's a different shape. <clears throat> um, but now you can actually uh, make a new sidechain on a specific, specific frequency band, which is crazy. So take a look, uh, we've got high and we got mid. So this mid is way deeper, as you can see, if you compare it with the high. And that's what I like, because I want to have my leads a little bit more to the fore, uh, foreground. Uh, with using a bit more attack, but usually when you use an sidechain, the attack will be you know gone because you're docking the volume of the sound. But with this, you can make uh, a different sidechain within one sound. So let's uh, take a listen. If I solo the leads, so you can clearly hear the difference. So this is once again normal sidechain. You can it, it docks really much, you know. But when I drag this to the left. You can instantly hear the attack is coming back more because this high frequency um, sidechain is way shorter than the mid one. So that's the, the biggest difference. And I can even make it a bit more extreme if I want to. Yeah. You see? And the benefit of this is that it can just clear up the mix because one extra bonus tip, how I use sidechain is I always start a drop without sidechain and when I have like a proper drop idea I started to sidechain a bit if, if you can make a drop if you can make a drop without sidechain you can make it groovy you can make it danceable then it becomes only better with sidechain and usually that's the problem when you start using a sidechain stra uh, straight away if you you know mute the sidechain the whole drop is like phew, collapsing because it's no groove it's just done you know but with the technique if you apply a sidechain later when you have the fundamental ready if you mute the sidechain the whole drop is still there because you mixed it and balanced everything without a sidechain and you put it after a sidechain on top so that's uh, the quick tip for this uh, week hopefully enjoy the video um thumbs up and if you didn't like it thumbs down it's all fine uh, but for now i want to thank you for watching this video and hopefully i'll see you in the next one